to show you how to take a plain old WordPress site that might be used for somebody's blog or for web marketing and turn it into a Toastmasters website. To do that, we're going to go and add plugins and we're going to search for Toastmasters. We find this plugin called RSVP Maker for Toastmasters, which we're going to install. Once we install this, it's going to prompt us for other software that we either need to install or activate, starting with RSVP Maker, which is a, a base plugin that handles event scheduling. So we have RSVP Maker, we activate it, and it also recommends that we install the lectern theme, which will be the styling for our site. It's actually already installed, we just need to activate it. And it prompts us to change that blog home page to a welcome page. Here I'm actually going to take the web address of a website set up previously on the Free Toast Host service, put that URL in here, and we're going to import some of the content of that site. We can look at the home page. It came through pretty good. And to clean it up, I can go up to the top and click here where it says Edit Page. So that's a, a special menu that appears when you're logged in. And that doesn't need to appear as a link. In fact, I think I'm going to make it the title of the page. I'll scroll down, what else do I see? Well, here's a link that refers to something on the old site, so we, we're going to just take that out and update the page. Now, to start with, this is just set up as a boilerplate agenda. It includes three speakers, no particular schedule, so we're going to set it to every Friday at 7 a.m. So this is Morning Club. And as we scroll down, we see these blocks of content. They represent either notes that will appear on the agenda, or some of them are roles that we can fill in our meetings. And we can either have them represented as one role to sign up for or a multiple. So I'm going to add an extra note. You can use these notes for sort of stage directions of things about how you organize your meetings. So we're going to add a note saying take a five minute break at this point in the meeting. And we're going to drag that up to right after the humorous speaks plop that in place. And we're also going to change the number of speakers from three to two. This is a shorter meeting. You can do this on a per meeting basis too, but here we're setting up the standard for how you typically run your meetings. And this sidebar content space gives us a place for reminders, like people should remember to pay their dues. When we save that, we're prompted to create the individual meetings. I can check all here because I want people to be able to sign up months in advance if they get ambitious. Only I see that our, a couple of our regular meetings would fall on Christmas and New Year's Day, so I'll remove those from the list. Scroll down and click Add from Template, and all the dates I selected get added. Another couple of prompts have appeared about the next steps in the process. First, I'm going to look at one of the events I just created, just to see how far we are so right now. 
So I can see I've got the form here. I can view the printable agenda. It's not, it's not quite fleshed out. Uh, for one thing, we only have one member who has an account on the site right now. Next, I'm going to visit Toastmasters.org and go into Club Central. I want the rest of my members to have user accounts on the site. And the easiest way to do that is to download the data from Toastmasters.org as a spreadsheet. So I go to Club Central, go to the roster, and there are these export options. Uh, either CSV or Excel will work. So after opening up in Excel, I just copy all this data. Back in the administrator's dashboard of my website, I'll follow the prompt to add members. Now this form allows us to add them one at a time, but I want to go down here to this batch import section. I paste in all that information from the spreadsheet and click add. This gives us all our members imported, and they're, they're all going to get an email notification with their password. Now I can go over to Toastmaster Settings and choose my officers so that they'll be reflected in the site. And officers get some additional administrative privileges on the site. This also will generate that list of officers that appears on the agenda and a list of officers that appears at the top of the membership directory. I set the time zone, decide to make the site public because I'm ready to go. And now when I edit signups, you can see that I now have all my members available to assign to different roles. And we can save that. View the agenda. And now we see that the data we entered is included. The officers are filled out. Now all we have to do is convince members to sign up for the rest of the roles that are still unassigned, and we'll have a great meeting lined up.